Hey everybody, how's it going? The time has finally come where I'm going to be reviewing the new Monster High Generation 3. Let me just go ahead and get started by saying Monster High G3 hasn't even officially released yet, which happens on October 1st. But we already have so many of the new characters. We can expect tons and tons of releases from Monster High the end of this year. You guys, it seems like a whole heap of dolls releasing. It seems like so many dolls are going to be coming out at the end of this year. Uh, Monster High G3 already has tons and tons of releases and we have most of them already and so Gulia Yelps will be the first doll that I'm reviewing of course in this video but I do want to show you guys really quick some of the other dolls that we have received lately and they all can be expected to pretty much release around October 1st at retailers nationwide and so here they are. Wow, I know that's a lot, right? You guys, so of course they can't even all fit in the screen right here. We have Draculaura G3, Claudine, so cute, Frankie, one of my faves, of course, Miss Laguna looking brand new. We got Cleo, always oh, such a serve. And then of course we have the Ghoul Spirit Squad right here with six of our favorite characters, including Deuce, which we have not received his core look, which will be an Amazon exclusive. I'm super excited. And Toralai, who will also be an exclusive, but to Walmart. So I'm super excited to get those two characters. Along with all that stuff, you guys, we also have Draculaura's Gorgonizer that we were able to find at Toys R Us, which is located inside of some Macy's location. Draculaura has a brand new look right here, which is super cute. Love her boots and the different hairstyle. And then of course, we also grab the Coffin Bean. And which is a playset that comes with this stuff over here, a couch with some cute eyeball pillows, a little pet, and also a second pet right there, and then a little bar area with some chairs. Now, of course, I already opened this one off camera, so I might show you guys a little bit later in the video, but it is a really sweet playset, and I also found this at the Toys R Us location where I found the other dolls. So make sure that you guys hit up those Toys R Us inside of your Macy's to try to find the new Monster High dolls. So of course, all of this stuff is projected to officially release on October 1st, along with a few other things that I haven't been able to grab yet, like a two pack with Deuce and Frankie. And then of course the Walmart exclusive and Amazon exclusive dolls. So. Miss Gulia Yelps will be a Target exclusive, which I was lucky enough to grab today. And I'm super excited to open it with you guys here in this video. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and check out some of the details on her box and open this doll up and look at everything that she comes with. Before we do get started, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on that notification bell so you guys don't miss any of our new videos. Thank you guys a bunch for all of your support and patience while I took a break from making videos the past week. As you know, the purchasing does not stop, so I always have new stuff to unbox with you guys. I just don't always have the time to make these videos because I want them to be good enough for you guys to get what you need from it. And it does take a lot of time for me to edit and do everything that I need to do. <laughs> so I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate you all so much for your support. It means the world to me and please continue watching my videos, subscribe, and uh, I hope that you enjoy. Let's get started with Gulia Yelps. 
So of course, there's really nothing to hide on this box right here. It has the Monster High logo on the side. There's some pretty neat artwork down here. Ghoulia Yelps, and then we have Draculaura, and we have Cleo, and they look super cute. I cannot wait till they release a Cleo doll with this outfit. It looks like over here we get Ghoulia's pet, Sir Hoots a lot, along with a really cool skateboard of Dead Fast, which pays homage to the Ghoulia Yelps San Diego Comic Con doll that was released in, I believe, 2011. We get this neat backpack right here made of brains. Up here we have a handheld gaming console that kind of reminds me of a Nintendo Switch. There's a bag of brain puffs right here. And of course we get this gray beanie with a little pink brain on there. And we have our doll, of course, looking absolutely gorgeous. It says Monster High on the side of the box. And then, of course, the back has more artwork right here. We get the school. Um, we get all the ghouls right there. A blown up picture of Ghoulia on the side. And then we get a little bit of details on the back. We have her monster type, totally brainy zombie. Monster must have, skateboard and brain puffs. And her monster pet is Sir Hoots a lot. Of course, it has different languages as well for everybody all over the world. On this side of the box, it has some of her favorite things like her gaming console beanie. Um, there's a hand right here pointing at something. I'm not sure exactly what. Then of course, there is a brain shaped as a heart, some glasses, her pet Sir Hoots a lot, and a gravestone right here that says RIP. Cool. As far as the bottom of the box, check out that barcode right there. Scan that at your local Target stores to see where she is in stock near you. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this box open all around the edges right here. So I believe that with a few slices and dices, we can just um, pull the front of the box. Yeah, so I think just slicing and dicing around the edges and we can pull the plastic from the front of the box and pop it out of the bottom just like that. Wow, super nice. I love how it looks without the plastic in the front. We can kind of still display the dolls just like that, which is pretty cool. Or you can do it like us and we're just gonna cut everything out of the box right here. So one thing that I thought was pretty cool is that you can pull this out and fold in the side pieces and it kind of becomes a little plaque that says Monster High and you could just keep it on your shelves like that for like a little display area. It looks really nice. I think that's cool. This little piece right here pops off on the edges right there and of course at the bottom and i don't know if you would want to keep something like that but i think that's pretty cool i popped them off so that way i can try to keep the characters it has their names and stuff right here i kind of want to do something with them so i'm popping those off and keeping those and then What's left is our doll and our accessories. Just like every doll, they're held in around the ankles. I see that she's held on around the waist. Gotta be careful to not cut anything from her. Do not wanna rip any of her clothes or anything like that. She's held on around her hair in several areas. And also on her hand on that side. I think that we can get her off of the box now. 
Yes, 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 yes. She's off of the box, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, this is some high quality stuff here. Yes, I love it, love it, love it. You never know with Mattel if they're gonna go cheap with the hair, if they're gonna go expensive with the hair. But um, this feels really nice. So I'm not even gonna sit here and pretend like I know everything there is to know about hair on dolls and let you know exactly what texture, you know, what material that this is made of. But what I can tell you is that I sat here for about 30 to 45 minutes right now and just felt every single doll around me, <laughs> like every doll that didn't have gel in her hair. I can tell you that if I had to guess, her hair is probably Saran. Um, I say that because she feels very similar to all of the Cree production dolls that were released. And she also feels very similar to the Frankie and Draculaura G3 dolls that were released. Her hair does not feel anything like OMGs or Rainbow High, which I believe they use high quality nylon on their hair. So I would say that this is probably not nylon. Um, it's not dry either. I also felt Claudine's hair from G3, which seemed very, very, very dry and stiff. Um, and so this feels more like if I had to guess, like it feels kind of like more sticky or oily and kind of grainy a little bit. So I believe that Saran hair kind of feels a little bit oily too. So that's why I would guess that it's Saran. If you want to compare her hair to other dolls that you might have, it's pretty much like all the Cree production dolls. Um, the ones that I felt, they feel pretty much just like this. So that would be like my comparison. And um, please in the comments below, if you think you know what kind of hair she has, like please just comment down below and then maybe I can highlight that comment or something like that. I could pin it at the top so other people can find out exactly what quality hair she has. Um, I love the fact that it's multiple colors of blue. Like there's multiple shades of blue in her hair. It's really nice. Let's see what else this doll has to offer. Okay, so she has a ton to offer. Now I will say that these dolls of course do not come with stands. This is a Monster High stand that I bought separately for this doll. So right away, I wanna look at all of her details. Taking a closer look at her face, she gets these really cool earrings that look like grave headstones they say r.i.p she gets a pair of reading glasses and if we lift them up we can see her makeup is green and yellow and pink she is very pretty she gets this really nice lipstick color her skin of course is a little bit green compared to our original ghoul who was more gray um, besides her face, we can take a look at her outfit. She comes with a really cool looking jacket. It has a brain pattern all over it. And then on the sleeve, it says brains. And then it has a little picture of a brain shaped as a heart. If we remove her jacket, we can see her shirt right here also has a picture of a brain. She has her cut off sleeves and the bottom is also cut off with a jagged edge. Velcro on the back. Her skirt's a really nice color, hot pink. The bottom of it kind of looks like a dripping blood. I believe that's what it's supposed to look like. It has this white belt with green stitching and pink brain hearts going around the whole top. Of course, the side right here, it has this green zipper going across right there with a little skull head zipper on top. It does not actually zip. It's held on with Velcro on the back. We can also take a look at our doll's shoes, which are pretty detailed. They are silver with black bottoms. 
I believe the bottom is also supposed to look like brains. Um, there is the Monster High skull on both sides of the shoes. She gets pink laces and then she gets three straps going across the top of her boot right there. So the details on her shoes are really nice. Monster High is winning with the articulation right now. Um, the doll's heads can turn and tilt as you please. They are articulated at the shoulder, elbow, and wrist. They are also articulated at the chest. And then of course at the hip and the knees. I believe we can also pop our hands off of these dolls. So our hands can pop off. And I believe they also pop off here. Oh, with a little bit of force, we can also pop off the forearm area. Okay, and I would not try to pop off anything else. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments down below if any other part of their bodies can be removed. Um, I'd really like to know. I think that Gulia looks super cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have her. I'm so happy that I don't have to hunt for her come Saturday. I also want to remove this stuff from the box right here and show you guys a closer look at them. Her skateboard right here says Monster High. Here's a close up look at the little dead fast character on the bottom. Looks like the, the wheels actually spin on this thing. Her backpack is made of rubber brains. It's all blue. Um, it does open at the top, so you can put some of her accessories inside of there. Taking a closer look at these brain puffs right here. It looks like there's a spicy little pepper on the corner. So I guess these are the spicy brain puffs, which is pretty cool. The back of the bag also has some details on there. And then the back of her game says Monster High. And then on the front, there's two little characters on the screen. Looks pretty cool. The little crossbar button right here is made of bones. And then some of the buttons are the Monster High skulls, which also looks really cool. And then of course there's little fangs on the top right there. So the details are pretty neat. And the details on her little phone right here, her eye coffin is pretty cool. There's some brains on the top right there. And then the images on here is a little bit blurry, but it looks like she has a few apps on her phone. I'm wondering if this just is the one that I have that looks a little bit blurry or if that's just the screening for all of them. I'm not really sure, but I do like the fact that they detailed her phone to kind of fit her theme. Our last little thing that we got to unbox right here. How cute is that? We got Sir Hoots a lot and his glasses are actually removable. So that's pretty neat too. His glasses are removable. His feet can actually hook onto stuff on the coffin bean. It does come with a little thing that the birds can hold onto, which is really neat. Well, you guys, that's about it for this video. I just want to give you guys a quick look at how everything looks when the coffin bean is all set up. We got the big area right here where you can order your coffee and then um, some snacks down below. There's of course two chairs and a little couch right there with some cool little pillows. And then of course I added Sir Hoots a lot onto the skull right there that he can stand on. And that's what I was talking about earlier in the video. The ghouls can chill out right here. Pretty neat. I kind of want to have them all displayed like this on a shelf when I finish opening up the rest of the characters. But these are the only three that I've opened up so far. 
Anyways, you guys, I hope that you really enjoyed this unboxing of Gulia Yelps from G3 Monster High. Again, this series releases on October 1st, which is approaching really soon. Uh, by the time you watch this video, it might already be here. I hope that you all found this video to be helpful and I plan on opening up some more of these Monster High dolls really soon. So just stay tuned to our channel. Please make sure that you guys subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions or anything like that. Thank you guys for your support. I truly appreciate you all. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.